What's up guys, it's Aki. Welcome back to the part 3 of our 3D printing to build this wind tunnel. In this video, we are making serious progress. We are finishing up the design and moving from the cardboard prototype to the actual 3D printed wind tunnel. I will show you how I put together pieces that I designed in SketchUp and 3D printed and glue them together. And later on, I will test out the wind tunnel with my childhood dream car and that's going to be super exciting. Let's kick things off with the exhaust fan cover. This is where I get to mess around with the style a little bit. So I printed out this golden futuristic looking fan grill to match the mostly black look of the tunnel. It's looking good so far. We just designed and 3D printed this end piece for our plexiglass cover. If you look closely, you will see that there's a slot on all three sides that goes all the way around where the plexiglass is going to slide in just like that, very perfectly. Once it's all put together, we will have a C-shaped plexiglass cover that we can easily take on and off for our wind tunnel chamber. So what we're going to do next is print the other piece and we're going to cut the plexiglass to the right dimension so we can fit it into the slots. So I had a feeling that cutting the plexiglass was going to be the hardest part of this build. And yep, I was totally right. The plexiglass I got was 1 8 inch thick or 3 millimeter, and I didn't have the right tools to cut it. So I looked up on YouTube and people said that you could just use a utility knife. And that's what I did. I just went over the cut mark a bunch of times, trying to keep it as straight as I could. Then I push as hard as I could to snap it right along the line. And guess what? No fingers lost. So that's a win for me. The snap line was actually pretty clean, but I did have to sand it down a bit to make it smoother for gluing later. And one of the panels was just a little bit too big and wouldn't fit in the groove of the 3D printed end cap. So I have to sand that down. In the end, it took me about five hours to get the plexiglass wind tunnel lit to complete. But honestly, I was super happy with how it turns out. All right, so now we've got the plexiglass panels and the end caps 3D printed. We're finally ready to glue everything together. I slide the panels into the grooves of the 3D printed end caps and they fit pretty well. Give or take a little wiggle room, but you know, because we don't live in a perfect world. Then I went ahead and applied some super glue to seal up the gaps and cracks, making sure that we don't get any air leaks when we are testing in the wind tunnel. Air leaks could mess with the airflow, so we don't really want that. Everything went smooth except I didn't know that the super glue I was using would release a film while drying and that leaves a frosty blurry patch around the glue area. Not exactly the clean clear plexiglass I was looking for. So I ended up ordering some acetone and hopefully to clean it off later. But yeah, the gluing went pretty well, just took a little while to dry and in the end I'm super happy with how the wind tunnel lid turned out. Next up. We designed the base plate for the wind tunnel in SketchUp. It looks pretty sophisticated with all the grooves and elevation changes. I did that to minimize the air leaks as much as possible. And after that, I imported it into the Bamboo Studio and sliced it. Because the plate was too big for one print, so I split it into two separate pieces with cylinder connectors. Once everything was done printing, I cleaned up the print support and joined the two plates together with some glue. And honestly, it felt so good to finally have a solid plate for the model cars to sit on. I even tried fitting the lid that we made earlier, and thank god it fit perfectly just like how we planned it. With the base plates done, we're finally ready to glue on the two airflow straighteners that we printed in the last video. But right when I was about to glue them, it hits me. I could totally optimize my design more using some kind of locking mechanism instead of using glue. That way I could save some time and make everything more precise. Definitely a lesson learned for the next time. But anyway, the airflow straighteners fit pretty well and then I added the exhaust fan 
No glue needed for that since it's a very nice tight fit. Alright, so at this point the wind tunnel is pretty much done. Now we just needed a test subject. So I decided to make my first ever purchase on Tamu. Not sure how I feel, definitely not sponsored. Anyway, I picked up my childhood dream car, the Nissan GTR R35. It's a 1 to 36 scale model car, which fits perfectly in our wind tunnel. I like the Nissan GTR because it's a super fast car, but it doesn't have that crazy in your face kind of flex. You could totally drive it like a regular car and only the people who really know cars will recognize it on the street. Okay, so now we've got the GTR in the testing chamber. Let's fire it up. And as expected, the airflow looks amazing in our blackout chamber with the blue GTR and I can hardly believe it. The thickness of the water vapor is so much better than the prototype because we sealed the chamber airtight this time. The black backdrop really makes the contrast pop and the overhead lights highlights the vapor just perfectly. It looks so good and you can actually see the interaction between the air and the GTR and it's like the air is flowing around it and it looks just super clean. And honestly, I'm really happy with how this build turned out consider how much time I put into it, but it's still not perfect. For example, the plexiglass lid is a little harder to take off and put back on than I thought because it's just so tight. But at this point, I cannot do much about it. I will also need to finalize the water vapor setup because right now it's just temporary. I've got a better design coming in the next video and I will clean up the plexiglass with some acetone to fix the frosty patches. So yeah, stay tuned. My name's Aki. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to like and subscribe for more. Peace.